Hello, my awesome second grade artist. Today we're gonna to be doing something fun and different that I think you're really gonna like. We are going to be making these fun ice cream cones out of Model Magic. Model Magic is kind of like clay, but it dries, um, just air dries. And so you just let it sit out and it hardens up and then you can decorate them. We're gonna be learn learning about an artist named Wayne Tebow. And in this project, we're going to learn about several elements of art and principles of design. So first of all, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the artist that we're gonna be talking about. His name is Wayne Tebow, like I told you. This is a picture of him. And he's actually still alive. And he was born in 1920. So he is 100 years old now. And he's very, very famous for painting bright, cheerful paintings of desserts and sweets like candy and cakes, ice cream cones, lollipops. Let me show you a picture of one of his ice cream cone paintings. I love his artwork. It's so fun and colorful. This is a painting that he did of three ice cream cones. Look at the fun pink ice cream that he put on there. And his art is considered to be pop art. He's a pop artist. And pop art is a style of art where the artist use simple, bold images of just everyday items. So ice cream cones are just something you would see normally and isn't anything really fancy. And he made it look really fun and exciting and new. So let's go back and look at our examples that I made. So in this, the elements of art that we're going to be using are form. So form is when something has the appearance of being three-dimensional. You can see it. It's not just flat. So we're giving a little bit of form to this ice cream. We're using um, a material that we can actually use with our hands. It's not going to just be flat and drawn on the paper. And then we're going to be uh, using some texture. We're going to be creating texture on the ice cream with some of the designs. And then you're going to get a special type of paper that actually has these bumpy little places on it. And it kind of like an ice cream cone would, and so it creates some texture on your art. And then for the principles of design, we're gonna talk about pattern. You're gonna to get to pick some pretty patterned paper. Remember, pattern is when you have shapes and colors and designs that just repeat over and over again. And we're gonna be talking about emphasis. That's when something really stands out, and so the emphasis of this artwork would be the ice cream cone and variety. So we have lots of different techniques and elements on here, so it just really uh, looks exciting and doesn't look plain. All right, so to begin with, I'm going to move these over out of the way. Your teacher is going to give you a piece of cardboard that looks like this. You're going to turn it um, vertically so that's where the long side is going up and down like that and then your teacher will have a stack of patterned paper um, the stack probably has some uh, sheets that are solid colors but I would prefer you pick a pattern sheet because I think that looks better and it's awesome because the pattern paper is the same size as your cardboard and so all you have to do is get a glue stick and put glue all over it. And I really think for this one, you need to use a glue stick because it creates just a thin layer of glue. And when we glue it onto our cardboard, it won't get very bumpy. This pattern paper is really thin. And if you put Elmer's glue, the squirt glue on it, it'll get bumpy. So I want you to put lots of glue on here though. Sometimes with stick glue, it doesn't always stick very good. And so try to get as close you, as you can to the edges so it won't be peeling up, okay? All right, so you get that on the back, and then you're gonna try to come in and line it up as best you can and glue it onto your cardboard. See, I line it up before I press it down. And then see how I take my hands and I smooth it? And I'm just kind of rubbing and getting it down really good. That'll help really press it down and get it down there good. Love this fun pattern that I chose for mine. All right, so that's that. The next thing you're gonna do is make your ice cream cone. So remember we talked about texture, that's how something feels. And your teacher's gonna give you this small piece of textured paper, and you're going to make an ice cream cone out of it. So if you want, if it's, you can cut out a triangle shape, but if it's easier for you to draw it first, that's okay. So. 
I've got a white colored pencil I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna start at the top. This will be the top of my ice cream cone. I won't even need to draw the top line of my ice cream cone. So I'm just gonna come over to the side and make a line that kind of angles down. And then one over here. And it goes to the bottom and the bottom's gonna be kind of squared off. I'm not gonna have it. You can make it a point if you want. But then I'm gonna cut that out. And if you still see, if you drew that with your pencil and you still see pencil lines, just turn it on the back for the um, one that you use and you won't uh, see those pencil lines anymore. All right, now something that's gonna make this look a little bit more like an ice cream cone is making some lines on it. So your teacher should have either these white jelly roll pens or a white colored pencil. You pick one or use whatever your teacher gives you and you're going to make some lines that crisscross each other. They're gonna be diagonal lines. Diagonal lines go this way, and then diagonal lines can go that way, and they're gonna crisscross. So I'm gonna go in, if you look very closely, you can kind of see in between those little bumps, you can kind of make your lines go there, and that'll make some good diagonals if you can see that. I'm just going in, trying to see if y'all can see that on the video. I think you can. And I'm just going along in between those bumps that I can see. And that makes perfect diagonal lines. And this is really gonna give it the look of the ice cream cone, the way it has those intersecting diagonal lines. Now, if you're using a colored pencil, you might have to kind of press a little harder and color a little harder with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back this way. They're intersecting each other, and that means they're crossing over each other. And what happens when you do this, you're drawing lines, but then those lines turn into shapes that look like diamonds. See how those look like a bunch of individual diamonds. So we started out by making lines, and now we're making shapes. So I'm just finishing this out. Okay, doesn't that kind of look like an ice cream cone? I like how it also has the texture and it kind of feels like an ice cream cone. So then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna get my glue stick again. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but I wanna put a lot of glue. Remember, look at that purple on there, isn't that pretty? Put a lot on there and try to get close to your edges so it doesn't peel up. All right, I'm gonna stick it very, very close to the bottom. You can go all the way down to the bottom if you want in the middle. And then again, I'm going to rub it really good. Get that stuck on there real good. Okay, and that's my um, ice cream cone. So now you may need to come back a different day because that may have taken a little while and everybody is gonna get a pack of this model magic. This is the fun stuff. So you're gonna open up your model magic and it's really fun. It's kind of like Play-Doh. To me, it feels a little bit softer and lighter than Play-Doh. And you're just gonna start out by kind of working it in your hands and kind of getting it, so it'll soften up even more when you kind of play with it in your hands. And that's fun too, to kind of squish it around in your hands. Kind of relieves some stress, doesn't it? Feels fun and good. Okay, so we're gonna divide this into four sections. I'm gonna make three layers of ice cream and a cherry on top. So I'm gonna start by the cherry on top won't take a whole lot of model magic. So I'm gonna pinch off a little bit and you can always go back and add to it. But, so every layer, let me show you. Every layer of your ice cream kind of gets smaller as it gets towards the top. See, this is the biggest layer, a little smaller, a little smaller, and then there's the cherry on top. So you won't want to, you'll want to kind of think about that when you're tearing apart your clay, your model magic. So I'm going to put one and then there'll be two. And my biggest, biggest part will be for the bottom. So this is going to be for my bottom and I'm just going to kind of start flattening it out. And the fun thing about this is it's ice cream, so it doesn't have to be like perfect. I'm just thinking of making this long kind of flattened shape. You can kind of use your fingers and make some curves in it so it looks like ice cream. 
It's kind of moving around and melting around. You can make it perfect circle. It's just however you want to make yours. But I'm thinking I like this pretty good. So what I'm going to do is before we glue this or anything, I'm just going to sit this down like that and kind of think about, okay, that's where that's going to go. I'm not pressing it down. Don't press it into your thing. It might try to stick. Just kind of lay it there and give it'll give you an idea of what it'll look like. So then here were these pieces that I made. So see, this is the next biggest piece. So I'm going to do the same thing. Kind of just work it with your hands. See how I'm pinching it. Kind of getting it that shape. And I want it to be a little bit smaller than the other layer. And they're going to kind of overlap each other. So it's going to kind of sit on top of the other one. And then the last layer, it'll be a little smaller. Doing the same thing, just kind of pinching it. Doesn't, it. doesn't that feel good on your hands? You can kind of smooth it with your fingers. Just take your time. You can go a little slower than I'm going. Your teacher can pause the video. And then that'll be my top layer. Okay, and then, then I'm going to make the cherry. So I'm going to take a little bitty piece. That'll be the stem. You don't need very much for that. But this is going to be my cherry. So I'm going to roll a ball with my hands like this. You can roll it between your palms or you can roll it on the table. And it gives you a little ball, but you need it a little flattened. So you just press it gently with the palm of your hand. And now I have a little cherry that would go there. And then for my stem, I'm gonna kind of flatten out a little piece that looks like a stem. I'm going to kind of stick it on there like that. Okay. Now you want to kind of press these together a little bit so they're kind of sticking. But at this point, once you get your ice cream how you want it, you see I've picked mine up, your teacher will come around and I have given all the teachers some tacky glue. It's kind of like a thicker glue that will do this really well. So let your teacher come around and squirt some tacky glue on there. And teachers, the tacky glue, it, um, it's really thick. And so every time you set the bottle back upright, it wants to all go to the bottom. It's kind of hard to keep it down at the top where you need to squirt from. So my recommendation is to keep the bottle turned over as much as you can. It won't just flow out. And that way, when you're ready to squirt it, it'll, it should just come right out instead of turning it over every time. So your teacher will squirt some tacky glue on there. And then you will just put it back on here and kind of gently press. You don't have to really flatten it out. Just gently press. And by the time you come back to art the next week, it will be glued on there good and dry. And this Model Magic should be dried out a little bit more for you to decorate. So we're going to pretend like we've gone for a week and come back. And I'm going to show you what I did with the ones that I finished. But make sure your name is on the back of that so every, your teacher will know whose is whose. Okay, I'm gonna show you two different things and you get to decide how you want your ice cream to do. And if you can come up with some different ideas, I think that's awesome too, because I love when you're creative. So on this one, I just left the Model Magic white because I was gonna have some vanilla ice cream. I thought that looked really pretty white. And then I painted my cherry with liquid watercolor. So I didn't add any water to it, teachers. I just used the pure liquid watercolor and it absorbed it a little bit but it's still you still see that red and green and for my sprinkles i'm gonna see if i can put this a little closer for my sprinkles i used um colored sharpies and i made some dots just making little dots and then i had some of these little rhinestones and you might have some of these left over from your first grade project and you can let the children glue those on. And I just glued that on with Elmer's glue this time. We, I put a dot, put it, and if glue squirts out, it's gonna dry clear, so it's okay. So that's one option. And then on this one, I was gonna make some ice cream that was flavors. So I used, again, my liquid watercolors, just pure liquid watercolor, painted each one, and then I, I went in there with some colored Sharpie. So like you can kind of see, I used orange and a darker pink and a darker blue green there. But then I took some glitter glue and made sparkles that way. That's a little bit more difficult to get the dots perfect. But if you have some kids that want to try it, let them go for it. 
Let them be creative and come up with some interesting ways that they can decorate their ice cream and make their Wayne T. Bell ice cream cone. And I cannot wait to see your artwork and see what you did. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.